I'm joined now by an IDF reservist named Ben, who is stationed in Israel at a kibbutz along the Gaza border. We are not giving his last name or precise location for security reasons. Uh, ben, thanks for joining us on this. Um, appreciate it. You are Thank you for having me. Yeah, of course. You, you are actually from um, L.A., and you've been living in Israel for the past um, six years or so. What is your role in this fight right now? Uh, so I'm a reservist. Uh, I was with my host family, actually, because all of my family still lives in the States. Uh, and I was with my host family celebrating our holiday, the, the final holiday of the high holiday uh, season, as we say, the last of the, the large group. Uh, when I woke up in the morning to the news of rockets and the, the invasion by Hamas, uh, into the communities on the Gaza border community, as well as the other cities of Sterot and Netivot. Uh, and I woke up, opened my phone, seeing the, uh, just, in, you know, seeing the terrorists walking around. The closest comparison you have to this is ISIS, you know, the videos of ISIS riding in the back of pickup trucks, uh, brandering their AK-47s and RPGs through, through our cities. So I woke up to these to these uh, videos and sites, hopped in my car, drove down to, and immediately we got to base. Uh, and now I'm here on the uh, in one of the communities on the, along the Gaza border, uh, and we are protecting the the, board, the community, allowing uh, you know one first uh, press to come, allowing the families uh, who you know most of most of these families, many many members of their families uh, were were butchered on Saturday, uh, their family, their friends, their pets. Uh, so we're able to we're able to make sure that these families are able to those left of the families are able to come back to the communities, uh, get any remaining things that they might want mm -hmm. important things to them, uh, especially, you know, the remaining members of their family me being the pets. Uh, today, specifically, also a, a, a group of uh, goats and chickens and guinea pigs and dogs were, were collected. Uh, thanks to you know our unit being here to make sure that it is uh, clear of any any remaining Hamas terrorists. Tell me about what you've heard from some of these families, um, how they are doing in the wake of this um, attack, being in the kibbutz um, that day, likely losing family members and friends. It, it's really really hard. Uh, difficult to even put into words uh, some of the experiences that, that these families and, and members are talking about. Uh, you know, that they holding their, their loved ones and their, their ch children, their babies, uh, holding their hands over their mouths so that they can't, even that they're crying, they can't make a noise to give away their location to the terrorists, one in their house, uh, shooting at the bomb shelter door walking on the roof, using the roof as a as a location point to then just be able to uh, to spray their their machine guns and kill anybody who's running out of their house trying to escape. Uh, but at the same time, these families are so resilient and the fact that some of them have been able to come back just under a week uh, after the, the terrible attacks that took place here. Uh, it shows the resilience, and you know, I talked to them, and and some of, a lot of these people are saying, you know, we we can't wait to come back and rebuild this community, which it is very difficult for me to understand. But uh, I have so much respect and, and so much pride in in my country and in being an Israeli here at this time, seeing and hearing that these families uh, are so willing and eager to come back to this community after these atrocities took place on Saturday. Um, just one last question. I, um, I'm not sure if you're going to be part of this ground invasion. Um, do you know if, if, if you're going to be playing a role in this yet? Uh, I'm only a staff sergeant. Uh, you know, I do what I'm told. I, it's with, with, out of my authority, uh, even if we are committing a, or going to be doing any sort of ground invasion or not, I have no idea and I can't really speak to that. Uh, but what I do what know type? is that we have a... I, I, I just wanted to ask what, what, what type of mindset um, if, in fact, you, you are involved, will you be going into that with? I have the mindset, just similar and exact same mindset as everybody else here, that we, we've seen the atrocities, we've seen, you know, the bloodstains in, in the children's beds, uh, the RPGs in the back of uh, people's cars as they tried to escape. 
uh, you know, the defenseless civilians who are just butchered. And we keep this in our minds, and we have one goal in mind, and that's to make sure that Hamas never, ever has the ability to carry out this type of attack ever again against Israelis, against any Jews around the world. Uh, and, and that's our goal. Uh, that's that's the mindset we're going in with. It is a true, a true family and a community here. None of us want to be here. We all, you know, have our families. And uh, my, my girlfriend, my dog, our, I, my job, I, and none of us want to be here, but we have to be here. We have to do this. And my, my mindset going into this is take care of business, make sure the Hamas can't do this again, and get home to my family as soon as possible, hug them, and hopefully never have to be part of this situation ever again. Thank you, Ben.